Happy Monday, and welcome to another episode of Cases That Should Have Gone to the Supreme Court of Canada, but didn't. Today, we're talking about Senator Mike Duffy. Cases that should have gone to the Supreme Court of Canada, but didn't. Or former Senator Mike Duffy, that is. Mike Duffy was a senator in Canada who was alleged to have committed a number of expenses in the big Senate expense scandal. Ultimately, criminal charges were brought against him, and he was acquitted after a lengthy trial. Unfortunately for Mr. Duffy, he was ejected from the Senate, and the Senate applied to claw back a portion of the money that he'd been paid over the course of his time as a senator, alleging that those were improper payments. The Senate relied on a number of the findings that were made in the criminal case, which, although they didn't amount to criminal conduct, did amount to misconduct in the Senate expense requirements. Mr. Duffy alleged that the investigation proceeded in a way that violated his charter rights. And in the course of dealing with the proceedings before the Senate, Mr. Duffy alleged that those violations of his charter rights should lead to exclusion or refusal to consider the evidence that was obtained against him. Unfortunately, the Senate disagreed and ruled against him. Mr. Duffy appealed, arguing that the court had to make a determination that his rights were violated and that the Senate had acted unreasonably in how it treated him. The court dismissed Mr. Duffy's appeal, indicating that the Senate's procedures were subject to parliamentary privilege and the court had no jurisdiction to interfere. And this was the important question that ultimately came before the Supreme Court of Canada. Administrative tribunals, and the Senate is not an administrative tribunal, but it is in some ways, administrative tribunals have an obligation to consider charter values. The Supreme Court of Canada has ruled on this in a number of cases. The Senate obviously is a, a part of a Canadian institution. It's conducting a proceeding and it ought to conduct itself in accordance with charter values. But how are those charter values determined when it's not an administrative tribunal, it's not a court, it's a parliamentary proceeding? There's very little law on this because the courts have very little say over what happens in matters subject to parliamentary privilege, including Senate matters. The Supreme Court of Canada could have had an opportunity just to clarify where the line is and how the distinction is drawn between the application of charter values in the administrative sphere, in something that is supervised by the jurisdiction of the courts, and in something that is not subject to the jurisdiction of the courts. Not to allow Mr. Duffy's claim to proceed because it didn't have merit, but instead to clarify where the line is drawn and how these things should possibly be determined without saying how they must have been determined in Mr. Duffy's case. This was an opportunity for the Supreme Court of Canada to get the heart at what some of their issues are supposed to be, which is the determination of constitutional issues in Canada. If there isn't anything more important to constitutional jurisprudence in Canada than the activities of the Senate, it's hard to think what there is. And the Supreme Court of Canada, I think, missed an opportunity here to really clarify the way that charter rights still have to apply in the context of Senate proceedings, even if they didn't have the opportunity to intervene in the ultimate decision made in Mr. Duffy's case. There could have been some helpful guidance provided by the court to allow investigations like this to proceed because we know that things like this are going to happen in the future. There are proceedings in the Senate all the time. Even as we speak, there are senators under investigation and subject to action by the Senate for taking certain steps. And the Supreme Court of Canada had the opportunity to clarify some of how they think the law should be applied in this way. Cases that should have gone to the Supreme Court of Canada, but didn't. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Cases that Should Have Gone to the Supreme Court of Canada, but didn't. I'm Kyla Lee at Acumen Law Corporation. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends.